Hi everyone, today I wanna to talk about kind of a term that I hear people talk about a lot and that is the elevator pitch or the elevator statement or the elevator opening. And it's a term that kind of bugs me because I just don't like the word pitch. To me that sounds salesy, it sounds pushy, it sounds persuasive, it just sounds aggressive. And I know that if you go into Wikipedia and you look up what is the definition of, what is an elevator pitch? What is an elevator speech? It talks about it being a persuasive explanation of what you do. And I guess the challenge I have is with the word persuasive. So I just wanna give you some ideas about kind of what I think a good way is to introduce yourself or if somebody asks you, what do you do for a living? Maybe a way that you can answer it that gives people a little bit of information and a little bit of insight into what you do without it sounding like a sales pitch because that's what the whole word, um, this whole phrase elevator pitch, it sounds to me like a sales pitch and I just don't like sales pitches. I don't like to be sold to. Just tell me what you do for a living. Tell me, tell me how much you love it. Tell me how it can help me, but don't sell to me. Don't pitch to me. So when I was actively selling real estate and someone would say to me, so what do you do for a living? I would say, I help people build wealth through real estate. And that was what I said. It was simple, it was to the point, but it gave people an understanding of what I did for a living. I didn't say, oh, hi, yeah, let me tell you all about what I do. I help people build wealth through real estate. And what that means is, and I didn't go into a great big long pitch because the problem with that is if you make it too long, if it, you go from being conversational to being selling or pitching, and that's the part that I have the problem with. So, you know, there's a lot of people that are in real estate that get asked the question, what do you do for a living? And oftentimes I hear people say, I sell real estate. And to me, that is not an opening uh, statement. Or they'll say, oh, I'm in real estate. And what does that mean? You're in real estate? Sounds like you're in jail, right? <laughs> I'm in something. Uh, you're locked in real estate. So don't do that. Instead, make it something that is a conversation starter. So what do you do for a living? Even saying something as simple as, I'm so fortunate I get to help people find homes that they love, that they get to then go on and, you know, and have great memories in. Whatever. Something that just sounds more authentic and matches your belief in what you do. So for example, I've always been interested in real estate investing since the time I was very young. I've often, I've been very fascinated with real estate, real estate as an investment, real estate for um, asset management and the simplicity of asset management, because that's what I, I really believe that real estate as assets uh, provide long-term growth and, and uh, security and, uh, I'm obviously very passionate about it. So when I, when people ask me what I did, that is what I would say. And I could very easily um, say that with enthusiasm because I'm very enthusiastic about it. When someone says, what do you do for a living? And they say, yeah, I'm in real estate. It just sounds like such a downer statement. So instead, please add a little bit of enthusiasm. Really think about what you do. And maybe there's a there is a part of real estate that you love. And let's say you love, maybe you love writing contracts, maybe you love negotiating, maybe you love looking at houses, then um, when, you, when someone asks you what you do for a living, add something more to it. Even if you said, I'm so fortunate, I get to negotiate contracts all day long for people that wanna buy homes, and I love doing that. Even something as passionate as that, it explains what you do, and people will ask you, when you're enthusiastic about representing what you do for a living, you're opening up the door for conversation. And that's really what it's about. The traditional elevator pitch, elevator sales pitch, I, while I don't love the term, I do agree and understand that that whole statement is supposed to be a way to open the line of communication. So my, my hope today is that when you're listening to this, you just think about your own business, what you do for a living, and think about what makes you the most excited about that your part, uh, the parts in the business that you do. Maybe you're most excited about contract writing. Maybe you're most excited about negotiating. Maybe you're most excited about organizing the whole process. And it might be something simple as when somebody says, what do you do for a living? Being able to say, 
I am a professional real estate organizer, which means that, and specifically uh, in contracts. And I help people write winning offers and contracts, and then I help to organize and get them to close. I don't care what your passion is. There's something in this industry that you're passionate about that you could then make into a really powerful, uh, rather than elevator pitch, I'm gonna call it an, a door opening um, you know, statement. So. Um, I just really want you to go from just being very generic to using statements that encourage people to want to communicate with you. Okay, guys, get out there and let's think about think about those things in the business that you love that you get excited about and your excitement will come across to others. Okay, guys, take care. Bye-bye.